Louisiana Beer Reviews looks at 10 Roof Brewing of Baton Rouge. They are Game Day IPA. 10 Roof Brewing was established about three years ago, I guess, I can't remember, um, very recently. Um, a multi session with tropical citrus notes. In the past, I have been very displeased with session IPAs. Maybe this will be different. They're saying it's not just hop water. Now, see, that's good because they recognize, too, that many session IPAs are hop water. Basically, um, Bud Light with a lot of hops. But they're hope we're hoping this one is better. Introduced in 2015, their malts are Pale, Carapils, Munich, <coughs> and Caramel 60. The hops are Simcoe, Amarillo, Mosaic, and uh, what did I write? <laughs> Warrior hops. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, oh, this is sold around Matherns, Winn Dixie. I saw it over there at Winn Dixie today. So uh, it's common in southeastern Louisiana. All the tin roof beers. Um, you may not see it in your area. There aren't enough ratings on rate beer. There's like what four ratings on rate beer to give it a score. Beer Advocate had 11, but most of them were just the little ticks that they used to let people do, and now they don't count those. You have to do a written review again to get it scored. So, but I added them all up, and it added up to like they were saying it was okay, like average. So that's what I found with most of these, this company's products. They're like good, but not particularly good, you know what I mean? Not too fantastic. All right, but we're hoping for the best here. Um, I hope it's better than game day ice. <laughs> I hope game day session IPA is better than this thing. Ay, 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 ay. All right. Um, Let's check it out. 4.3% alcohol. That's the same as Milwaukee's Best. And uh, the same as uh, Rolling Rock. And Goose Island. Honkers Ale. 42 IBU. That's kind of moderate bitterness. And you know how that goes. The number sometimes doesn't reflect the bitterness. Some lower numbers will taste more bitter than higher IBU beers. Well, it certainly smells hoppy. The hop oils. It's fruity. It's citrusy. A little pine oil. And yada, 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 as they might say on Seinfeld. Um, and you know what I'm saying. It's stereotypical session IPA aroma not a bad aroma and those beers don't ever run into trouble in that department it's they run into trouble in the body uh, and they're they're sort of one note like they're saying here on tin roof hop water problem uh, the appearance is hazy I see gold <laughs> Definitely, even though, if you're looking at it, with the light shining through it, it's gold, but at it, it's orange gold. Uh, I would say there is powdery, powdery sediment, but it's so fine, but it's what's make, it is what's making it cloudy, not the condensation. Smells good. It looks nice. This is turning out to be okay, but, you know, now we go to the most important part of the review, the taste. oils the but then right behind it it's sort of like they're marching out one out one ahead of the other here comes the hop oil the bitterness and we know all the attributes there are the descriptors the pine the grapefruit the lemoniness etc citrus okay so that's and then right behind it is marching out some breadiness I would say white bread Maybe 
Maybe that Sara Lee white bread. Hmm. Little little bread crust. Look at all this lacing. The body is there. It's light to medium, not just like dull old watery. Certainly it's got a noticeable bitterness. It's in no way harsh. It's pleasant. Um, I think, now you might be saying, oh, you're just, you're just a homer. You're saying all that because it's from Baton Rouge and you were born in Baton Rouge and you're going to say all these wonderful things about Baton Rouge beer. So that's not really true because I did their turn row, their wheat, coriander wheat beer, and I, I, I thought I was one of the worst beers I've ever had. It was horrible. Okay, so you can put that to rest. Um, this is right up there with the Founders All Day IPA. And that is just the hot item, right? I re read about that. They said that's their number one beer now. I see that in Mathern's. It's just coming in by the cases. People buy that stuff all the time. I don't know why, you know, because um, even this thing here, this is very good. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm going to give it an A. It's an A beer. It's most excellent, just like the Founders. It's a most excellent session IPA. Unlike most of the rest, which are barely good, really. Uh, but um, even with that said, it's still not. <laughs> up to the level of a really good IPA, you know, like, I mean, with all the full body and the, and the more intricate characters. I'm thinking of the Lagunitas, the one I just drank, uh, and, I, and it wasn't, was no kind of alt beer. It was that Sticky Doppel, that was just a double IPA, and awesome too, by the way. Um, I mean, this cannot in any way hang with that, but that's a style issue now, right? So it's not a quality issue. And that's a personal preference thing. So you might say, yeah, but I like the lighter bodied IPAs. I don't like all that heaviness, like that apple sticky, you know, and a torpedo extra IPA. I don't really, so I can't say that it's worse. I mean, I really think it is worse, but to be fair, I understand style has to come into play and it's your personal preference. So, it is, and what I, what I like or don't like isn't really that important, right? <laughs> so, it is a very well-made beer, and um, it's a solid A. So, most excellent laissez les bon temps roulé. I mean, if I'm going to session something, I'm going to get Rolling Rock, which is half the price of this, and it's just as enjoyable. Um, different style, same ABV. And, hey, and it's quality, so, hey. So hey, well hey, and y'all come on down to New Orleans! <laughs>